So the day has arrived. The big dredge vault I have received, and you can see here's the package. It, um, you know, just it's a really unique box they designed. I don't know how they did this. They <clears throat> they probably paid. That's part of the whole production of this whole thing. So I might have a golden ticket, golden golden ticket, golden stamp. Nothing special on the back. So. All right, we're going to see what's in here. Um, this might be a little tricky. Um, I may have to set this up. Let's see here. I'm trying to hold the camera while I'm actually removing the uh, the tape and everything. That's the thing I don't... I, I want to avoid ruining the tape if I can, but, you know, I didn't pay all this money just to... Uh, um, you know, save the tape. Yeah, I don't think I have a. I don't think I have a choice. I think I actually have to. Yeah, unless I were to chop off the bottom part, I have to actually remove the tape. Sadly, but what can you do? <laughs> Again, they didn't spend all this money for tape, even though it says dredge tape, dredge vault tape, and all this stuff. Um, so, yeah. If I actually had this set up well, I'd be having assistance from my wife or something. I think I'm going to have to just cut it. You know, I don't have a choice. Um, or I may have to stop and just resume, um, which actually makes more sense before I can do this more. All right. All right, I think I got it. And like I said, unfortunately, it's the sacrificing of the, a little bit of the box. But, ah, Jesus, this is still a bit challenging get this open. I, I didn't do the last part. That's the part of it. It's proven to be the keys that have been more effective than the scissors. Well, all right, this is the end of part two. All right, you know, even though I hate to damage the tape and everything. Oh, it even has the symbols on the side. This box I'm going to definitely keep. So here we go. What did I get? Did I get a... I got a bag, of course. That was part of it. I just got the standard. I didn't get a lot of the extra stuff that people spend a lot of money. I would have liked to um, call... a Zoom call with the band and everything included. So there's the bag. And... Let's see what is inside. Okay, so we get one making of Cielo, El Cielo, which is a DVD, I think. Yeah. Man, this is a... I knew this was going to be a, an extensive deal. Jeez. I'm doing... I'm doing... <laughs> I got my phone down here. Because <laughs> um, my wife may be getting done with work early today anyway. So... Um, yeah, you know, this is actually not a huge book. It's a cool looking book, though. But um, a lot of it's going to be the, the DVD, obviously. I'm trying to... Remove this and get my keys. I'm not I'm not the most skilled unboxer or multi things that require two hands. So oh yeah, the artwork and so the some of the uh, lyrics and anyway okay so that's just part of it. I don't know, this feels really heavy though. So I feel like there should be more, but it's just a heavy case for a DVD. So making of Cielo, El Cielo. All right, what else do we have in here? This is like Christmas early, except I don't celebrate Christmas, but so Hanukkah, of course. So I got, oh, this is just my shipping information. They included in that, or like the, the transaction information. Um, this is the Orf EP, which, again, p fans have longed for this thing forever. I mean, if you can find an original, obviously it's worth a mint. Doesn't say a number on it. Um, you know what, I'm going to have to hold off on that for now, because I'm trying to be this as efficient as possible. This book. Yeah, more artwork and notes. Oh, geez. I don't know if this is for Lit Motif. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of Drew's artwork, of course. Like that one right there. Yeah. I don't know what this is referred to. Is it a book, an artwork? But, um, okay. So, Patch, I got a Gasp, then sing Patch. I should know the reference, and I'm 
failing to at the moment. My cat's crying downstairs. The flash drive that everyone gets. I'm going to see what's in this. A lot of, um, I think, unreleased stuff, demos, and stuff like that. I'm hoping a lot of the Pariah stuff is in here. Like, mastered, like, better, like, remix or something. The stuff that, you know, that they were, that didn't make it on Pariah. Dredge sticker. That's cool. Um, Dredge.com. I got, uh, like, one of the, the symbol songs. Symbol pins. Yeah. So far, I haven't got the vault thing that a lot of people are applying for. Oh, yeah. Of course, the let the, the Catch With On Arms cassette tape. Green. Pretty sweet looking. Yep. It doesn't include... Of course, it doesn't have some of the extra tracks I love so much. Um, but regardless, I should open it, but... At a later time, maybe. Um, looks like a... Is this a magnet, or is this a book? I'm not sure. Oh, this, oh, this might be like a, like a seven inch... Hold on a second. Apologies, I, I'm not sure if this opens up. I have to see. I'm too curious about this. It might not open up. I don't want to ruin this. No, this is... This is some kind of... Oh, it's sealed. Shoot. I may have to do a second part of this once I uncover it, but this is um, a live, recorded live, cartoon showroom, recorded live at Konzent. Concert House, Dortmund, Germany, November 1st, 2009, there it is, engineered, you know, when they were on the, the Pariah Tour. Um, so there's this big Lent motif um, book. Yeah, I mean, this is... Quite a neat deal. Oh, this probably was many years worth of, you know, scrap, you know, note taking, journal writing, and art, 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 and drawings and stuff like that. It's like really, yadahazi, interesting. All right. Um, I think I'm going to use this bag. So that's that for that. And then, of course, there's the actual vault, which is like a book. Oh, that's right. It's in. So I don't think I got a golden patch, unfortunately. But, you know, what can you do? This is the, the primary piece of... Oh, yeah, this is like a, this is a coffee table book. This is... This is... Yoda. <laughs> they went to... Uh, live at... Live at... Live band and kegs, March 8th, Saturday, March 8th. Oh my god, this is like a biography. Oh, and here it is. Here's the 7 inch single they were talking about. Or is it a 7 inch single? No, it, I'm not sure what this is. It's, it looks like a 7 inch single, but I don't think it's vinyl. Um, it's. Carbon Heart. It's from Let Motif, I think. I don't know, because it, it, vinyl is a little more stable than this, but maybe you can play this. It's like a... Yeah, Hailong Bay. That's right, 45. This is a 45. Shit, I'm, I'm ruining it. Uh, Hailong Bay, 45. Hmm. I'm ruining this process I want to just take a look at. It's got to be the thinnest piece of vinyl I probably own. Hamong Bay single. So, okay, and then it, this was also included with it, like a map. So, um, yeah, all right. Yeah, this is talking about LC, LCLO because what was me? You can see, like, when they were kind of carving out the, um, you know, triangle and everything, the track list probably for when they were the track list and, like, what each song, maybe it was like a cut and paste stuff of like Skywalker clap live bass string slide I wonder what it says for like what was me sorry but it's over that part in uh, of the room white hot white noise white noise yeah so oh man I you know I could probably show you know this for many for a lot long I gotta get back to work and everything. Oh, what's this, a postcard? There's, like, all these hidden things inside the books. Maybe they did that intentionally. This is, like, the postcard they used for the, the cover of Pariah. That's pretty awesome. I know that was the whole thing with that postcard. 
was it Vote Dredge? What does it say? No, Visit Dredge. Visit Dredge. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, there might be more stuff in this book that I didn't uncover. That, that golden patch that they were talking about might be in here somewhere, and I don't even know. It's like a treasure hunt. I don't know. I don't know if I have time to really go through the whole thing. I mean, this is... Like, I knew this would be... Oh, yeah, what's this? <laughs> it's, uh... It's not a golden patch, but, um... Oh, what they're doing now. Maybe it's talking about the new record some. Okay, it's like a thing from... Oh, this is from Mohammed. Okay, so... It's a fan of theirs who wrote this thing. <laughs> um... Yeah, these are like are these stickers. These might be stickers. Look what I have found. <laughs> oh my God, this is. I mean, you know, it wasn't cheap, but this is paying dividends to say the least. So, um, that's the gist of it. I mean, again, I'd like to show some of the stuff that I didn't open, like this thing, the um, cartoon showroom. Showroom. I think this might be a small mini CD single. Um, opening up the Catch Without Arms cassette, which probably, I don't know if there's anything spectacular with that, but still kind of neat to see the, the green, you know, the flash drive, of course, there's tons of stuff in this, but, um, yeah, um, <laughs> Wednesday, um, December 21st, you know, the first day of winter, you know, uh, it's like my, people celebrate half birthday, but yeah, but yesterday would have been my half birthday or whatever, um, Kind of a neat deal. It's like a holiday thing. Finally got this. I'm really glad. And you know, it's gonna be a gift that's gonna keep on giving. I mean, I'm sure. Again, it was not a, not a cheap thing, but um, I do have some other things I'm gonna do to, later today. Um, although some factors may factor in because of our weather outside, as you can see, is uh, we're getting a lot of snow, like a lot of places around, especially the northern part of the country. Um, not as much as, as maybe, um, parts of the rural parts of, of the state. The other thing is, uh, today they got a new shipment of this candy that I love. I'm not talking about, like, food typically that much, but, um, I happen to love this candy bar in the 90s. It was short-lived called PB Max. It was made by the Mars Company. It was peanut butter and chocolate and, like, graham, not graham crackers, like, cookies. It was, t it was much better than anything Reese has ever made. Uh, it was went out of production, and I would long to have it. So this peanut butter company or this this independent peanut butter um, site that have an Instagram have reproduced it, I guess, in peanut butter jars. And they ran out of stock twice, but they they got more back in. So I, I ordered a couple just this morning. They went. I found out it was eleven o'clock this morning. So maybe I'll show those when I get them. See how they are. Hopefully I don't get sick from them. Hopefully that's all FDA, all the FDA stuff. But um, anyway, um, did you get your dredge vault? If you have not, when you do, I'd love to see some comments, find out what your reaction, if you got other stuff, because I think that's the thing about these vaults is that, well, I got all this stuff on this, you know, there's all this stuff here. There's stuff that are in every vault that, from my 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 memory, because there are only a thousand of these things, every vault has different stuff, so there may be three or four things that aren't in other vaults that I got. I mean, the golden patch, I guess, there's other stuff they're going to be giving to people that get that, but I don't think I got it unless it's still in that book. But anyway, th please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.